Boris Noss, and we are both instrument technicians at the East Bay Mud Municipal Utility District. Our math skills are absolutely essential, I feel, in order for our agency to provide reliable uh, drinking water and wastewater sanitation services for over a million people in Northern California. Um, we know that sometimes students wonder whether uh, math skills are important in life. Um, we know we certainly wondered that when we were in school. Uh, we'd like to show you today an example of why math skills would matter on the job. And we've got an example to show you, so the following will be a mock event. Boys, yeah. water tank, wa overflowing tank, big problem, lots of water. Dude. But the gotta... level's fine on the screen, what are you no, talking no, no. about? You gotta see this dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that's a big problem, you gotta, we gotta get that out. Yeah, this is Boris. Yeah, we gotta turn those pumps off now. Right. Okay. What happened? Uh, we don't know yet. It could be a calibration error in the transmitter. We should take a look. Alright. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. This is actually a pressure transmitter, right? Right. And what we're doing is measuring levels. So the transmitter is seeing pressure at the bottom of a tank, and the higher the level in the tank, the more pressure it's going to see. So the transmitter is going to be converting that into a milliamp current signal. That's why you've got this milliamp meter in the power supply there. So okay. we're going we're gonna to simulate the tank level by applying test pressures to the transmitter. And I've got you, what you set up for me here is this test gauge. So we're going to simulate the pressure and check to see whether the milliamp current that we expect is what's outputting. Measuring current through the meter and we're going to be simulating pressure into the transmitter with this hand pump but we've got a digital pressure gauge as a standard to verify that we're accurately applying the pressures that we want so what we're going to do is we know based on our drawings that the range of this transmitter is from 0 feet to 19.8 feet right. and the current that we're trying to interject into the plant's control system is from 4 milliamps to 20 milliamps so when we do a calibration check we're trying to do five points along that linear line going up the scale to check each of those points and see where the actual measurement is coming in terms of milliamps. So we'll hit pressures at five of the test points that we've chosen and read the milliamp current that the transmitter is feeding to us. At and those see, test points. Right, exactly. We don't want to see anything more than 2% off. If okay. it's more than 2% off, that's a calibration error. And since it's linear, we know we can pick any point. Well, you, we know exactly what the the current signal should be for any point we choose. Correct, so we could use our, our linear equation to calculate what those currents are supposed to be. We need to see whether the pressure values recorded by the transmitter are going to be within 2% of the actual pressure that we applied to it. Can you help us out? If you'd like to hear more about how Boris and Grant got their jobs and how you could prepare yourself for a career in the water or wastewater industry, please visit the Baywork website to hear their personal stories. The career section of the website is full of information about great water industry jobs.